Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here. I wanted to do a quick video just showing a couple of highlights on this um, GEC boys knife. This is the Huckleberry boys knife. Like all GEC knives, you can see that they come with these uh, cardboard tube cases versus the box. Extremely unique, pretty cool. All of them have original artwork on them also. And to my knowledge, everything for this company is made in-house. So all the labels, all the cardboard tubes, everything is made for them in-house. And you can see there are different lengths and stuff like that of different tubes <coughs> um, coming out of their factory, which is really neat. Um, I think it's probably an insanely cost-effective way and um, just unique way to market your knives. I, I really like it a lot. Um, this is just what's laying on the table. And there's three others that are out of my reach but you can see see there there are several cardboard tubes laying around here and um, really great for uh, storing these knives I usually keep all the packaging that all my knives come in um, just for future honestly I don't know why <laughs> they're in boxes in the attic I really don't know why but I keep every box I get usually for flashlights and knives and gun stuff just stuff like that. I guess if I ever feel like I want to go back and look at it, I can. And I've got the spare room in the attic, so that's what I do. Um, anyways, enough about this. You can see, where is it? Here we go. Right there. The uh, model number is 152213. And then Ebony Wood. I'm not sure what the EC or STL stand for. Um... I'm trying to think. The only thing that I know that you can pick different would be a spear point or a um, clip point main blade or with or without the uh, rear bolster or the butt cap. So I'm really not 100% what those other letters are for. Overall though, this is a three and a half inch pocket knife. Great for EDC size. Um, extremely comparable to um, what you would find like on the custom market in my opinion. <clears throat> this is a higher end uh, pocket knife without having to pay higher end prices. All of the stampings are so subdued that um, and just you know kind of buried in there to where you really don't you, they don't stick out and flash you know on this knife where others have you know the the tang stamps and all these one of fifties and all that kind of stuff you know and um, here's another one with the bull nose you know where it's just got a lot of blade graphics and stuff like that. This one's just really clean, a satin finish on the blade. This comes out of the Tidio line from Great Eastern, and this one I just showed in another video too. This is the Northfield line. You can see the high polish on the blades on the Northfield side, on the Tidio side, the satin finish. So, I'm not sure if all of them are like that, but that seems to be my experience so far. You got the long pull here. Which is really nice and classy. You got a great looking swedge on a main spear blade. Like I said, you can get a clip blade too. You got a pin secondary. Really nice swedge on the back side. Really nice. Um, this, these ebony covers are really, really starting to grow on me. I never really um, cared for the wood covers on any of these pocket knives, <clears throat> but. Um, I think one order, I just decided to try it. This is the Mexican Bacote and the Cocobolo. And all these are Great Eastern Cutlery knives. Um, I just decided to try it one time because the bone kept cracking. And uh, I dropped the knife and the bone would crack. And I wanted something, either a synthetic that would last, you know, kind of like a maybe a micarta or something. Um, I wanted something that would last, be really strong. And I didn't necessarily want the plastic so I was just kind of trying to try a couple of different things just seeing how it would work um, the metal handles on some of the more expensive knives that you get they uh, you know they'll chip and dent and stuff like that when you drop them on the ground and I really didn't I didn't want that to happen I didn't want to have dented up aluminum and stuff like that <coughs> um, I'm hoping that these will just stand the, the test of time really great looking grains in the wood and a lot of character a lot of individuality is really great. <clears throat> this here is really just a basic overview of this knife. It does come in uh, just main blade versions, like I said, spear clip, and then jack versions, spear clip. 
and with or without the butt cap. So a really great looking blade. Um, great looking overall, of course, and then um, great for EDC task. I mean, it fits awesome in your hand. <clears throat> it just has a really nice clean feel to it. Um, really small. You can kind of get in there and get some little work done here and there. Um, these little pin blades are really great. If I, f I usually keep my pin blades super sharp, and um, I'll keep these, you know, fairly sharp, but not near as much of a sharp angle as I do on these small pin blades. And this is like my scalpel. If I need to open something that, you know, I need a sharp blade for, or if I need to cut something and have a lot of leverage on it, it's got a nice short blade. I can really get in there, and. Um, this knife excels at it. I haven't used it a ton. I got it last week, um, but I have used the bullet end jack, which is extremely comparable to it. And uh, you can see some of the tarnish on the blade there. And the same exact thing. This pin blade is great. Anyways, that is a really fast overlook. If I didn't mention it, 012 tool, tool steel, or, no, oh, my bad, jeez. That is a 1095 carbon steel. It's going to take a great patina over time. Um, it will not be as uniform, in my opinion. And I'll give you an example real quick. This is 1095 from the uh, Northfield Unexcelled line, and this is 01. So you can see, the 01 kind of has just an overall grayer tint to it. And this 1095, you can tell it's a high polished version. It's a little bit more splotchy. But overall, you know, they're going to take great patinas. And here is this one's been beat to pissing back. But you can see the uh, patina taken on the 1095. This is one from the Tidio line as well. And has the same satin finish blade when it started. This had the. Um, Buffalo horn handles. But a really, really sharp blade. Great little EDC blade. This is the Conductor Model 33. And this is the Model 15. Let me get them back center and frame, sorry. See comparable in size. Really great little EDC knife here. Perfect. And all those small little tasks that you want to take care of. And this really fills that role too um, quite well. All right, well, you guys be good, and thanks a lot for watching. And if you've got a spare couple of bucks, check out Great Eastern Cutlery and their Huckleberry Boys Knife. Thanks a lot.